good morning and let me also echo uday and welcome you to this uh, workshop on design uh, i thought that uh, i would start with a few general remarks again i have a short presentation uh, for me i think what is of most important to what is most important to me in this workshop is the connection between design and education and in two ways one is uh, you know design for a, the elements of design in engineering education and the other is design education itself uh, i thought that i'll start with a few general remarks uh, based on my own understanding of uh, you know what is the context and where do we fit in and uh, here i've just taken some ideas from uh, a talk that i recently heard on really what is different between art and science if you look at art the key word there is create whereas in science the key word is discover and in both of these fields you know the kind of evolution of progress is very different then if you look at engineering and technology that is again somewhat different and the key word there might be invent because engineers sort of create uh, things like TVs or tape tape recorders and things like this and one can think of that as uh, a sort of combination of science and art and finally if you look at design uh, you know where both function and form are important then we can think of that as a combination of art and technology and you know for all these uh, various processes of products or services which involve design uh, we can think of you know different sort of compositions of art and technology in there and so let me just show a few examples so here is an example where you know the art component is very high you know these are some designs of chairs by famous architects and there is of course some technology component but it's smaller on the other hand if you look at something like this which you know being a chemical engineer we look at these kinds of things the technology component is high and you know there is a uh, lot of detailed uh, calculations and things that are done but there is also a significant component of art in this type of uh, design as well and the reason that we have this component of art is that it's almost impossible to sort of come up with a single design there are always many many options you know there are almost infinite options and before you get down to the details of designing each small component of this huge system uh, there is always a sort of master plan of or a master design that happens and at that level also there are many choices to be made so a designer then has to develop an aesthetic to decide which are the best designs which are the designs that are most likely to work and so forth so just as a graphic designer has so many options and then chooses something similarly a designer before he starts actually putting down what are the what is the structure of a chemical plant he also has to have uh, some aesthetic and so in that sense there is a component of art in there as well and this is true for many other kinds of designs whether you're making a you know a large uh, aircraft or making a computer chip all of them have some kind of an overall design then subsystems and then integration optimization and so forth and all of them have an element of art in there and then of course there are some things where both there is high in technology and high in art and these are the kinds of things that make a very strong connection with the users so how does this connect with education i feel design provides a sort of unifying thread and it's important to in integrate design into various curricula because you know this kind of design thinking uh, it prepares people to be more creative so this is what i have written here is to introduce some kind of a creative element in science and engineering through design and art but then there is also a need for creative designers uh, with some kind of exposure to technology and the hope is that with this kind of uh, you know inputs into education 
that our students will be more innovative and uh, I, you know, come up with newer ideas and newer products, which is really the need of today. Uh, with that as some kind of a background, uh, I think what I would like to say is that today there is a case for making connections between institutions that there are all of us doing many quite different things, uh, but there may be some underlying similarities. I'd like to end with, you know, just a brief overview of our industrial design center at IIT Bombay. So we're lucky that we have this design center there. It was set up in 1969 and from what I believe that when it started, it was supposed to be a sort of temporary center which might later move to another place. But now it has become quite integrated into the institute and really in 1969, Fine Arts came into an engineering institution. Today the, inst uh, the center has grown, there are about 27 faculty members. They have programs at the master's level and at the PhD level. And they are also thinking of starting a bachelor's level program. But besides the programs that the center runs itself, uh, there is interaction uh, with the rest of the institute in the form of a minor program that is taken by our undergraduates and also electives which are extremely popular. I thought that I'll end by just showing a few uh, notable contributions that they're doing extremely well. In spite of being in a sort of technology environment, they're still able to flourish and for example, the new rupee symbol uh, was uh, actually created within the center. We are going to see a film by Professor Shilpa Ranade, whose full-length animated film was recently shown at the Toronto International Film Festival. And then one of our colleagues from IDC, Kirti, is, uh, has been the designer of a new national memorial to commemorate uh, the Salt Mart, which is coming up at Dandi. And in fact, uh, there will be a sculptures work, sculptor's workshop starting from tomorrow. Uh, you know, and we are going to do something like 80 life-size statues of the marchers in the campus. And we'll have sculptors from all around India and the world. And you're all invited uh, to visit, to just uh, interact with them. So with that, uh, welcome once again. And I look forward to today's uh, discussions. Thank you. Well, thank you, Udayan Devang. I will now.